Hey everyone, welcome to Storytime with Spidey. It's me, as always, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And, oh, already have a visitor. Hey there, Allie. <laughs> okay. I know it's been a while, but what can I say? I've been busy. And, as they always say, with great power comes great responsibility. Now, you were told that I got that from my Uncle Ben. I actually didn't. It's just something that I figured out after I made that horrible mistake that caused me to lose him. Now, uh, let's see. Where we left off, we were talking about, I was talking about, how sometimes you need a little help from your friends. You know, as fantastic as my abilities are and as cool as it is to be me, I can't get everything done by myself. Neither can Iron Man, Cap, or any of the others. Hey, Robert. Nice of you to join me. <laughs> I was talking about needing a little help from your friends. And one of the friends that I wanted to talk about real quick is this guy right here. The Black Panther. And the reason why I wanted to talk about him is because... Right now, there's a lot of, uh, how do I want to put this? There's a lot of issues between people who don't look the same. And there's good and bad in everyone. And you can't tell whether a person is good or bad just by looking at them. I should know. I pal around with a 10 foot tall green guy <laughs> who sometimes doesn't speak very well. But he's a very good person underneath that. That's why it's important to get to know the person and not just look at them and decide that they're good or bad. Like a lot of people look at me, they can't see my eyes and they find that kind of spooky. They see the spider on my chest and I know that a lot of people are scared of spiders and they think, oh, spiders are creepy. But people who have gotten to know me know I'm not a creepy guy. I'm actually very nice and friendly especially to good innocent people the bad guys different story but even then i do only what i have to do and uh oh i'm going to get into the story i am but i have an announcement to make to people who are in the kansas city area you and your kids will get to see me in person at a trunk or treat now for those of you who don't know what that is it's basically a trick-or-treating that takes place in a parking lot instead of going door to door we go car to car it's simpler and safer and we are going to be doing things safely we're going to be doing things smart i'm going to be there and i'll actually be reading to the kitties i will also be reminding everyone to mask up because it's important now, I've said this many times, I talk about it a lot, but it's very important that we do it. Okay, like, my mask protects my identity. It keeps the bad guys from finding out who I am, which keeps the people I care about safe. Your mask keeps the people around you safe. And here's the information on where the event's going to be. For... Hopefully you can see that. And that's going to be Friday, October 30th, the day before Halloween. The 
Now the actual day of Halloween, I have an engagement with some kitties that I made a promise to. And I have to keep my word. Okay. The location of the trunk or treat, which again is on the 30th from 6 to 8, is New City Church, 8622 Blue Ridge Avenue. I'm sorry, Boulevard. And that's in Raytown, Missouri. So if you can get there, look forward to seeing you. And again, we're going to be super safe because we want to play this smart. The truth is, Corona is the one villain that I haven't found a way to beat. Not to be confused with a villain that I actually fought years ago who went by the name Corona. Actually, had a hard time with her too. But, I digress. And now, back to the book. Once again, I'll be reading from 5 Minute Marvel Stories. And, if you don't remember, I had been in a situation where I had to partner up with Mr. Stark in order to take the bad guys down, and I got to thinking about the fact that sometimes that's just what happens. And, oh yes, this is where I threw the party. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, Robert, so you gotta go. But, this will be available for you to finish watching later on. So. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> it's been so long I'd forgotten. I was throwing a party for my fellow heroes because we don't really get to kick back and enjoy ourselves as much as we would like to. And one of my invites accidentally went to... Thanos, which is not a good thing at all. Bear with me, I need a little bit more light. Suddenly, the sky turned dark and stormy. Lightning cracked against the gray clouds. We're under attack, Captain America said. Shouted. As thousands of alien beings, cyborgs, started raining down on Central Park. Definitely not a good sign. Every hero leaped into action. The scene fell into chaos. That's a word for wildness, crazy situation. As the world's greatest heroes battled the galaxy's fiercest enemy. With a zap of her electrostatic coils, Black Widow took out several cyborgs while Thor plowed through another dozen with his hammer. Iron Man and Captain America <laughs> blasted Chitauri to pieces. That's the aliens that work for Thanos. Black Panther slashed at them with his vibranium claws. And as for Hulk, well, Hulk smashed. Like he normally does. Spider-Man watched in awe. Every hero was needed in this fight, and that included him. He threw himself into the battle, firing webs at lightning speed. Which was really all I could do in that situation. Hi there, Michaela. <laughs> nice of you to join me, just when things are getting good. The greatest superheroes in the world, including Spider-Man, so nice to be counted in that number, fought long and hard. Soon the tide of the battle was turning. Fallen cyborgs littered the ground. But then, with a mighty crack, the sky split open and Thanos appeared. Never good when he shows up. 
Spider-Man's heart sank. The Chitauri were bad news, but Thanos was way worse. The world was really in trouble now. I've got them, cried Captain America, but Thanos saw Cap charging and smashed him backward. Then Black Panther leaped at Thanos, kicking powerfully, but the blow bounced right off of Thanos' chest. Oh. Doctor Strange's magic couldn't contain the massive villain, and even Hawkeye's sharpest arrow bounced harmlessly away. One by one, the heroes were defeated. Definitely not good. Hey there, Lee. Yeah, everyone, for those who don't know, I've known Lee since he was three years old. I really like the person that he's grown up to be. And I like to think I had a little bit of a hand in that. <laughs> then Spider-Man remembered what Iron Man had told him. Some of the greatest victories have been won by heroes working as a team. By ourselves, we couldn't do anything to this guy. That's what they needed. None of them could defeat Thanos alone. But if they teamed up... Everybody, Spider-Man cried. We need to work together. With Spider-Man leading the assault, the heroes all fell in. Each hero brought his or her greatest strength to the fight. We need to reverse the portal, Spider-Man realized. Sometimes being a science nerd can help in a fight. Come on, heroes. <laughs> Let's knock him through tight. Let's knock this tough titan into oblivion. Sorry. Let's knock this tough titan into oblivion. When the superheroes worked as one, they were an invincible army. Hmm, that's what we had to do to get the job done. And even then, it wasn't easy. Still very doable. In the fiercest battle Central Park had ever seen, Spider-Man and his heroic friends banished Thanos to a far-off dimension in the multiverse. The world was safe. <laughs> teaching me my own words of wisdom, teaching me my own words of wisdom, Iron Man asked. Slinging a metal-clad arm around Spider-Man's shoulders. You're a pretty smart kid. I always like when he shows me respect. Yeah, maybe even smarter than you, Spider-Man smiled. Hey, now don't get crazy, Iron Man replied. Spider-Man had finally won his place among the greatest heroes of the age. But he wasn't on his own. Spider-Man teamed up and saved the world. That's a very important lesson that I had to learn that day. Like I said, sometimes you need help from your friends. And sometimes you need to understand that what you have in common with some people is far more important than what makes you different. My powers are different from the other heroes and my costume is different. And even the way I think is different because especially since I'm so much younger than them but I am still one of the good guys working with them to protect people and fight evil and that is more important than what makes me different from them like I said before the Hulk is different Black Panther has a different way of doing things even my friends that are called the X-Men. Now, they're called mutants because they are actually born with their abilities. Like, their abilities usually don't kick in until they're about 12 or 13, but they're born with them. As compared to someone like me, who got theirs by accident, or someone like Captain America, who got his from people experimenting on him. The X-Men were born the way that they are. They can't help that. What they can help is what they do with their power. And that's true of you too. There are things about you that you just can't help. Maybe you talk funny. Maybe you're a little bit smarter than some of the other kids around you or a little bit more 
bookish like you like to read. Maybe you're not really great at sports or what have you. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you're better at sports than you are at other things. Just remember, that's just a part of who you are and that's fine. What you do with what you've got, that's what counts. And what you should always be looking to do is the right thing. Sure, make yourself happy. We should all do that. Just not at the cost of hurting people. And with that, I'm going to be wrapping up. I actually don't know when I'll be back on here. I've been very, I've been super busy. But I always come back to this because I love doing it. And I love all you guys. Especially the kitties. Knowing that I bring them joy makes me feel so good about what I do. It's just one of the ways that you can be a hero. Brightening up someone else's day. And so, some of you, I hope to see on the 30th. Remember that date. And to everyone else, Excelsior! Which again, for those of you who may not have caught it, means onward and upward to greater glory. Action is his reward to him.